So, you asked me something the other day. Mm hmm Well, I shared with you that one of the things that I had been most excited and also anxious about uh, with coming to the Bosquet was the potential of killing and eating a rabbit. Yeah, I'm taking a break from raising rabbits. There just weren't enough people to eat them. They're the most efficient way to raise meat. So I really prefer uh, chickens for eggs and rabbits for meat. In this case, however, I have two huge roosters, um, one of whom is larger and dominant, and he's, of course, the one that gets with all the hens. You don't have that many hens right now because I didn't have as many people eat the eggs. I just got some new baby chickens. I'm thinking it's time to stop feeding two roosters. Uh, you should usually have one rooster for every seven hens. So this rooster's already had a chance to uh, insert its DNA into the flock. And so I think it's time to kill. Mm. And I do agree that it is good if you're going to eat meat that, that you be willing to kill it. You, you know that the process is. Um, at least these animals we know were raised in really good conditions. Yeah. And it still, of course, is not very polite to kill things, I suppose. But if you're a meat eater, you're killing it. <laughs> so here's our device for killing rabbits and chickens. Uh, this was a rabbit ringer. And so you put the rabbit's head in here. And then you pull its legs up this way. You pull up and it snaps its neck. So it's a very quick death. It actually separates the spinal cord. And so there's no blood and it's really hard to mess it up. Uh, this will be a little different because it's a rooster. Same idea though. Head goes in here. Yank up. Don't yank out because we want to get that angle to break the neck. <coughs> like that. So how's that sound? I just hold his feet, right? Yeah. So I'm going to have like his head and yank his feet up. Okay. For the last decade or so, I've been on this continued path of getting closer and closer to my food and understanding the sources and why I eat what I eat. Um, and this will be the first time that I've ever killed anything and, and potentially eaten it. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to eat it, you've right? Been, you've been killing mosquitoes. Well, mosquitoes are different. Fuck mosquitoes. I don't like mosquitoes. <laughs> they can all die. This is closer to us genetically. Also, that was self-defense. See. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, well, it's a nice-looking rooster, uh, and uh, we're going to try and do this well. We always want to do a good job, so we're going to get some advice from Chilino on how to break its neck really well. Uh, the first time I killed a, a, a chicken, uh, I did a very messy, bloody job of it. It was not good. That was years ago, and uh, so we don't, we're not going to do it that way. Uh, we know how not to do it. Today we're going to try to do a good job. Good luck. Thank you. And uh, the process of life and death continues. The cycle. So I'm thinking it might be a good idea if Courtney got uh, used to holding a hen first, how its legs go and wings go and everything. So we're going to capture a hen over here and have her uh, hold that and uh, learn how to control the wings and stuff. Yeah, you've got the wings pretty well. You hold the wings. They also like something on their feet a little bit sometimes. So, and then once they're relaxed, they're actually quite nice. Hi, sweetie. Gracias. Es para que no aletee, sí. Entonces hay que agarrar las alas. So you have to grab the feet and the wings together. So you've really got them all under control. And then you can grab his head. And you're going to put his head in the thing, uh -huh. and then you're going to yank his legs up. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't like that at all. Sorry, honey. We're not going to kill you today. Good job. He's not happy about this game. No, he knows he's gonna die. Yeah, he's all peaceful now. Hmm. That's 
Really good. Wings and feet. Sí. Sí. Hey. Where should I hold him? Uh, just around, yeah, around there. Head goes in. Looks pretty good. You're going to pull up, up in that way. Is this good? Yep. Up in that way hard. Not again. You might have done it, but do it again. That'll do it. No! Get out of here, dog. Puppy. Are you sure? Okay. Yep, this is a dead chicken, trust me. Okay. Yeah. You can let go if you want. No. Okay. Estás bien? Necesita ayuda o qué? No, está bien. Okay. Good job. To the pot? Yeah, off we go. So, I did it. Pretty sure the very first time I pulled, I didn't get him because he was still too calm. Uh, second time, clearly, I did. Good job. We're going to pressure cook the meat. I'm going to use the bones and the feet for stock and the neck. Um, and I'm going to use the feathers. I'm probably going to make a collar or something out of the feathers. Um, so we use everything. One of the other things I've done with uh, roosters when I've had too many of them is I've given them away to folks in the nearby town so that those roosters can mate with their hens and produce a slightly better hybrid potentially. Because the ones I'm growing are Rhode Island Reds, and they have kind of a chicken that probably the Spanish brought over at some point, and it's, they're very well suited, they're good brooders, um, they're suited for being out in the forest and, and hunting up bugs and stuff, but uh, the Rhode Island Reds uh, produce more eggs, and they're a little bit bigger if you were going to use them for meat. So I thought a genetic mixing would be nice. So this is freshly boiled water that's off of the heat element. And I'm going to be dropping him in and swirling him around for about five minutes. This is going to help um, loosen up the feathers. He's sleeping. So I'm not too worried about uh, the fact that we did murder this chicken. The way I figure it, is that a lot of people eat meat around the world. A lot of people eat chicken, it's very popular. A lot of that chicken came from systems that are kind of uh, not so great. The, the, the chickens live in, um, well, the roosters don't live at all in most cases. The, the baby chicks that are roosters or that are male get tossed right into a grinder and it grinds them all up. Uh, and then the chickens that do survive live in very cramped conditions. They're often sick and unhappy. So in this case, this rooster lived in much better conditions, had access to hens, um, was able to run around and eat bugs and food and for, for some years. And so, yeah, now we did kill it and eat it. But uh, I think that's acceptable by my standards. He's ready. Ready. Mm -hmm. So I'm supposed to cut his head off. Kind of hard. <laughs> There we go. That's the sound I was looking for. Headless chicken. Took a lot of work. <laughs> hmm, it's starting to look pretty familiar, huh? Looking good. Always multitasking. Okay, check that out. This is what we're going to be eating. Okay, so now's the messy part where I'm going to cut him in a U shape here and pull his guts out. 
I really, 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 really do not want to stick my hand in there. Have you ever cleaned fish? Nope. No, I've caught fish. I've never cleaned fish. It's starting to look a little less Nightmare on Elm Street. A little more like Thanksgiving. So taking a look at the guts here, we find the liver, uh, the gizzard, and we can use those. And then the liver has a little uh, part in it that's darker and, and stuff, and we gotta get that out of there. If we break it, then we can't use the liver. It stinks real bad. I forgot the name of that right now. You probably know it, but uh, yeah. So this is one of those chicken feet. You'll notice, you can tell the age of the rooster by the size of these spikes. These are really vicious spikes. I mean, that feels like hard, hard, hard bone, and it's extremely sharp. And that's how they fight. That's what they do in chicken fights, is, is slash at each other with these mean buggers. This one, wakar, the neck. What are we going to do with the neck? Okay, vamos a hacer con ello. Okay. Pressure cooker? Yeah, we cook it up. So the extra parts that we're not going to eat are here on this plate, and I'm going to go ahead and just add them right over here to some dog food we're already making out of uh, oats. So I'll just dump those guys in there. We'll make a little uh, soup for the dogs. Alrighty, well, here he is. He's tasty. Tastes like turkey. Just pressure cooked rooster and a little bit of salt. And I've got the rest of his little bones and feet and stuff simmering in a stock pot inside. So we'll have some really good broth here pretty soon too.